today. Welcome to Mind Your Business. I am Ahmed Duncan, founder of the Fabulous Woman Network. I love to support the growth of individuals through coaching, events, mentoring, training, so that we can all create wealth and impact people. Mind Your Business is my weekly podcast here. We get to talk a lot about our own businesses so that we can create wealth and impact people. Today, I have a guest, a very fabulous woman, whom I've had the privilege of coaching for a little over a year, maybe 18 months, actually. She's amazing, and I'm going to read her bio shortly. But before I do that, have you heard that we are having the International Fabulous Women's Conference right here in Kumasi? Fab Hub Ashanti is where it's all happening. We are having four days of amazement. We are starting with the Women Leaders Workshop, and then we are having the main conference event. Um, we are expecting speakers from all over. So far, we have speakers confirmed from Nigeria, from the US and Europe. It's going to be fantastic. And on day three, we are having a you know, a give back activity where we do a health screening talk um, and a few other things for the community where Fab Hub Ashanti is located. It's called Abu Abu Kese in Kumasi. And then on the last day, ladies, before we say goodbye, we are taking a tour. So it's going to be amazing, an amazing time of sharing, learning, networking, having a blast while we do this all in celebration of International Women's Day. So I look forward to seeing you. In the caption, you will see the link to join. There are a few discounts, you know, fast action rate, early bird rate, and the regular rate. You want to take advantage of this and just connect. For now, let's talk about Mind Your Business. So today's guest is called Mami Bafo. Mami is the visionary behind VA Buffalo Virtual Administrative Services. They ensure that organizations and entrepreneurs thrive online by making their products and services visible to their desired target market. They provide marketing services that drive sales through email marketing, social media marketing, graphic designing, administrative support, creative marketing ideas through brainstorming with clients and helping authors to self-publish their books on Amazon, design book covers, and market new books. Currently, she has an amazing offer for entrepreneurs. Just see the link in the caption so you can click on it and take advantage of this. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to Mame Bafo. Thank you, Emma, for having me. I am always glad to be here. Fantastic. So, you know, you really impressed me. We've been working together perhaps for 18 months or so, and I have just watched you with amazement. First of all, your fire, your fire is like, you know, you are the one in the group who is always gingering people. Come on, ladies, we can do this. We can do this. It's amazing. And then I think one of the most impressive things for me about you, and as usual, I'm getting my signature goosebumps as I say this, (laughs) is that, you know, I knew you first as a travel consultant, right? This was what you were doing. And then COVID was like, you know what, I'm never going away. So at a point, obviously this affected your business, but then you did something amazing. You pivoted. The next thing I knew, you were VA buffer. I was like, oh my God, this lady is amazing. And then as I reflect on this, this, I'm like, that is exactly what entrepreneurship is about. You've got the spirit. It's amazing. And today for this conversation, I want you to share with me what what are these driving forces for you that just helps you to move swiftly? Well, I don't know whether swift is the word to use, but move from one thing to the other, like effortlessly. Tell us your secrets. Wow. Thank you, Amma. Um, First of all, so you talked a bit about my bio. You, you, you read my bio and many times when I'm on platforms and people read my bio, I get 
goosebumps. Today I got goosebumps <laughs> like this. <laughs> and I want to touch on that and add on to my bio. So aside um, all that you have said, I'm also a mother, a mother to two wonderful boys. I um, uh, I have a loving husband, and I am also a Sunday school teacher, which I take very seriously. I see all the Sunday school kids as my ad- adopted children, and I, I love what I do. I'm also a very friendly person. So um, that is to add on to that. And then you also talked about the drive, the spirit, what keeps me going. First of all, I'm connected to very powerful women like Ama Duncan and her community. Yay. The energy that you guys <laughs> bring on board is absolutely amazing. Mm. I mean, we all know that to be able to um, achieve all that you set out to do, you have to surround yourself with the right people. Yep. And getting to know you, Ama Duncan, and your community has changed my life positively. To God be the So that is, that is one of them. And then secondly, as an individual growing up, I have set five pillars mm. that guide my life. Mm. And these pillars always bring my attention to the journey that I'm on. And it gives me great perspective to that. So I will share, I would just mention briefly these mm. pillars. Mm. And then as going with the conversation, maybe one or two will come through and then I'll talk about it. Sure. So the first one on my list is my choices and decisions. Mm. And then the next one is my growth plan. I always have a growth plan. And mm. everything that I'm doing, I know that I need to acquire the skills to be able to, to do that thing properly. Mm. So I always have a growth, growth plan and then I stick to it. And then the journey and the experience. I believe that this life is a, a journey. And I respect the journey and the times and seasons that comes with it. Mm. And I believe that this life comes with a lot of experiences. And these experiences helps guide our path. We learn from it so that we'll be able to know where next we are going. Mm. And then my faith. My faith is the foundation of everything that I do. Mm-hmm. It is my guiding principle. It tells me to leave from A to B, and that's what I do. Mm-hmm. And then all in all I do, lastly, I want to make an impact. I want to positively make an impact in all the in the lives of the people that I, I come into contact with. Mm-hmm. So these five principles that I call five pillars help me, they help guide my path. And it's one of the driving forces in all that I do. Mm. And then I say this. I want to share a story Mm -hmm. about my life. This story also gives me a lot of perspective to life. Mm. It changes me. Like, it keeps me on my toes. And it's about myself and my family. So I was born in a family of eight, eight. So two, my parents, and then six siblings. Mm. And then when uh, I was young, my mom, my mom told me that before I was born, my parents lost uh, two siblings of my They lost two children right before I was born. And then after I was born, I also um, uh, I saw that my mother was pregnant again, and then gave birth another boy whom she also lost. So in total, my parents have lost three children. And thankfully, there are three of us remaining. And then many times I reflect on this. The reason we we lost these siblings was because they had sickle cell anemia. That is the reason we lost them. And then so the two siblings I lost right before I was born and after me all had sickle cell anemia. And I'm the only one in the family that does not have a trace of sickle cell. Wow. So I always ask myself, why is, has my life been spared this way? Even my other two siblings, they are AS. 
So they have a bit of sickle cell in them, mm -hmm. but that will not lead to their death, thankfully. Mm -hmm. But I do not have sickle cell at all. So I ask myself, God, why did you spare my life like this? So I see my life as a gift mm -hmm. from God. And I do not take that for granted. I see that God sent me here for a purpose and a plan. Mm -hmm. And I, I embrace it and I do all that I do with my ability because I know that there are gifts in me that God placed in me and there's only me that can do the thing that I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So whatever I do, when I serve, I serve with significance so that I can always make an impact. Mm -hmm. So that drives me and that is the reason why I was able to pivot from being a travel consultant. When the pandemic came, mm -hmm. I pivoted to virtual assistant. And this is here we are. And we'll keep going. Mm, absolutely. So that is the answer to my question, my lady. Wow. That, that's, that's really a powerful story. Kudos to you and, I mean, your parents as well. This is really powerful. Thank you for sharing. Yes, your life indeed is a gift. And that fire in you is definitely meant to impact a lot of people. And I see that in the work you're doing, especially as a virtual assistant to many fabulous women, some of whom I know actually. And so let's talk about pivoting, you know. The pandemic just came and took us by storm. And by God's grace, we are sailing through. And I wonder if you, you can share with us some tips or advice based on your own experience of pivoting, something to help us adjust better in our businesses. Absolutely. I believe that whatever we are doing, God gave us that idea. And in whatever need that we are, God will give us new perspective, new ideas on, on how to move on. So first of all, when there is there is a need for you to pivot, and most of the time in our, in our entrepreneurship journey, we need to pivot. We need to add one thing or the other. We need to change course a little bit. This is how, what has helped me. Mainly, you have to use what is in your hands already. Mm. You don't have to invent the wheel. Mm. So myself, I started with travel because um, I studied um, culture and tourism at the university uh, in Kumasi, mm. Kenya. Mm. And during that time, I had the opportunity to travel a lot, and I realized I loved to travel. Mm. It gave me an it gave me an open mind. Mm to experience different cultures and learn. Mm -hmm. And then when I relocated to the Netherlands, I realized that uh, many people were interested in my culture. You know, the way I carry myself, the, the way I dress, the way I wear my hair, my attitude, they wanted to know more about my culture. Mm -hmm. And many times when I talked about my country in class, they said, oh, one day we want to go with you to Ghana. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, I think there is a gap here. I know all about tourism. I've traveled to different parts of Africa, Europe, the Americas. And this time, if I have the opportunity to sell Africa, my rich culture to the world, why not? And then I, I knew that I know tourism. That is what I have in my hands. Let me use it. Mm. And I also talked about my growth plan, which includes my, my five pillars, which in, includes growing. So I started with tourism and took the skills um, the other skills that I needed to sell tourism. And then when that changed, when the pandemic came, I knew that I needed to pivot once again. And then I needed also to use what is in my hand. Mm -hmm. So studying in the Netherlands, I studied organizational management mm. on a master's level. And during that time, I learned a lot of marketing skills. Mm. I had the opportunity to intern in a marketing organization. And then I, I realized that many entrepreneurs have brilliant ideas. Mm -hmm. They don't know what they want to sell. And they package it nicely. But there was always a gap. They didn't know how to market their products and services, especially in the online world. 
many people thought, oh, I have a product that can stay in my corner somewhere and then sell it. But the world has changed, especially with this pandemic. We need to, to, to sell in different ways. So many people did not know how to sell their products and services. So even talking about pivoting, I want to land by saying that always use what it, it, it is in your hands already. The little skills, the little knowledge, the little talents that you have already, just reflect about it. And most of the time I ask the people in my network who are business-minded like you, the mentorship group, I ask the people, what do you think are the things that I am very strong in? You see that people will be coming up with, oh, mommy, I think that many times you share ideas on A, B, and C. I think that you can really do that well, you can serve people well. People need that as well. I paid attention to it, and here we are. I have served a lot of organizations, coaches, authors, by the grace of God, and they have been able to sell and market their products and services to their desired target market. Mm -hmm. You know, I am not surprised that you learned marketing in school. That plus your spirit is just fire. <laughs> now I understand better. Like you, you're just amazing. You know, the use of MailChimp. You know, Mami, do you know how long it took me to master MailChimp? Did I even say master? Because I, I gave up on it. Yes, <laughs> I couldn't figure MailChimp out and I just gave up. Now I'm using something else. But you just sit there, you do pa 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 and then you are going. That is impressive. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> You do not have the time to concentrate exactly. on marketing and culture. Exactly. Your yeah. You yeah. are the coach. You come yeah. and then you train us, you direct us, you give us the tips. Concentrate on that. Outsource exactly. marketing to me. And then we work together as a team and then exactly. the company will explore. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, in the beginning of a business, you think, oh, I can do it all. I can do everything. I, I'll do, I'll learn Canva, I'll learn this. But the reality is, as you progress, you're like, nah, this is not working. Let me get other people to help me. So I focus on what I am good at. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's always that point in every entrepreneur's life when they get to the point where they realize, no, I need help. And that is where we have people like you supporting us so we can focus on what it is that we do at the best. It's just fantastic. So now tell me more about BA Buffo. What exactly are you doing to support women? I mean, I know it's not only women. Forgive me, I keep saying women, so. <laughs> we are definitely um, women entrepreneurs, right? So you are pardoned yeah. if you only talk about women. <laughs> but I, I serve the whole world. I serve all organizations, startups, mm. with a marketing strategy online. So um, my, I want to talk a bit about my services. Mm. Um, so um, what we specialize in is online marketing. Mm. So we make sure that the products and services of our clients are made readily available so that the client can have access to it and buy it. Mm. We realize that the, the struggle of entrepreneurs is that they have the products um, made and prepared, packaged, but they can't sell it. Mm -hmm. They're staying stuck up on stuck in their bedrooms or it's, it's somewhere lying somewhere. So we make it readily available so that the clients have, can have access to it and ultimately buy it. And then these are the, we use email marketing. So this is where we use an email uh, marketing software to set up. We put a system in place where we will gather emails of your potential target market. And then we will always inform them about your products and then um, ultimately make the product available in their faces for them to buy. We also manage social media. So we do social media marketing. The social media marketing is um, is broad. Mm. We do by uh, social media marketing. We do uh, we, we we do graphic designing mm -hmm. for some clients. We we do the graphic designing and then we send to them. They can post themselves. Mm -hmm. Some of them um, we do um, 
we design and then we post on their behalf. So we do the engagements, we do the, the commenting on their behalf, and then we also run advertisements on Facebook and all other social media platforms. We do uh, what we call, we do collaborations. So if your brand wants to collaborate with other companies, which is a, a very powerful marketing tool, we find the right fit for you, and then you guys collaborate together to reach more audience. We also do um, challenges. We do um, giveaways. We help um, your company to do a giveaway. And these are different uh, marketing tools that helps you to reach your target market. Mm -hmm. You catch all the eyeballs that you need, and ultimately, they become your clients, and they keep coming reoccurring clients. Mm -hmm. That is for social media. And aside that, we also do uh, graphic designing. So with the graphic designing, we do we can help you with your logos, your branding, and if you want to design a PowerPoint presentations, everything, everything you want to, every flyer you want to design, we help you design it to fit your brand. Mm -hmm. And then we also offer administrative support. So um, if you need help with admin, with sending out emails, um, engaging with clients through emails, um, setting up different softwares and um, things that will help you administer well in your company, we give you admin support. And then aside that, we also offer creative marketing ideas through brainstorming. So you can tap into our brains when it comes to marketing. Mm. When we are on your team, we brainstorm with you based on your goals so that you are able to uh, come up with brilliant ideas that will help you market your products and services properly. So in a nutshell, that we that is what we do. And then what is amazing about what we do is that we have a budget for everybody. Mm. And we know that many especially our women who are, are starting their business, they mostly do not have a budget for marketing. Some people do not even think about it. They say, oh, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll get it done. But it's not as easy as they think. Mm -hmm. And then when reality hits, they just leave it alone. Yeah. And concentrate on the product, 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 making the product nice and, you know, packaging it, the product will be set down. So we have a budget based on your needs. Just contact us. We'll have... Um, an intake call, listen to your needs, and then give you an offer. So don't be afraid and think that, oh, I don't have a budget. We always have a budget for everyone. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. You know, as you are talking, I'm like, this woman just saves people time. You know, things like responding to comments, um, responding to mm -hmm. messages. It's it's so time consuming. You think, oh, I'll just finish it fast. By the time you realize five hours is gone and you're not even half done. So I totally, totally get you and what the value you offer to people. You just save people time so they can focus on the main thing for them is the product. Mm -hmm. Then you handle the marketing for them. Marketing is such a big deal. You can have an amazing product sitting there. Nobody knows it exists unless you put it out there. So it's really what you're doing, I have to say, is really valuable. Keep keep up the great work. I mean, I'm praying for more resources, more help for you as well as you support women to make impact, which is one of your key pillars as well, right? So that's amazing. Now, before we end this conversation, I just have a few short questions to ask. So I read the beginning of the um, sentence and then you finish it. Cool? Let's go. Okay. So the first one, if I could advise my younger self in one, one short sentence, I would say. Embrace the grace that you were born and run with it. Use it to your advantage. Mm, embrace the grace that you were born with and run with it. I love it. I love it. And the second one is, I am fabulous because. I serve with significance so mm. that I can make an impact. 
Ah, fantastic. And one book that has really helped me in business is? Hmm, one, only one. <laughs> okay, so I am always, um, well, I need to choose one. Let's go. So I will go for the current read that we are having on the Mastermind Group. Mm. I'm a Duncan, <laughs> and that is Refining Wealth for Yourself by mm. Patrice Washington. Mm. And you know, this year, last year, I read that I read a lot of books, and then this year, I have decided not to read so many books but to pick a few and then keep reading them. And then at this, this I realized even this month, I have concentrated on uh, Patrice's book and I keep doing what he, she is saying. I have started, uh, last Saturday, I did a de declutter in my kitchen. Fantastic. I just opened all the kitchens and then cleaned up. And do you realize the things that has, had ex ex expired, the products that were sitting there? And then I'll go to the supermarket and buy it something new. Can you imagine? So I've started decluttering and it has given me so much peace in my kitchen. I go, I know where A is, B is, I pick it up, I know what is what I need to get from the supermarket. So reading is a powerhouse. And thank Absolutely. you, Amma, Absolutely. for giving us the books and then helping us to, to, to go through the books together. It's really changing our lives. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Now, you know, we cannot let you go without you telling us what's exciting in your business right now and how we can be part of it. So what offers do you have for us? Okay, so I realize that many entrepreneurs need a client database. Mm -hmm. so I realize many of my clients, when they get on board, I ask you, so which people are you serving? Do you have their telephone numbers? Do you have their email addresses? I said, oh, let me check on my phone. Oh, mm -hmm. Let me check the last info I have. They don't have one place that they have stored all their, 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 their clients' um, details. Mm -hmm. So I want to equip entrepreneurs to have their client database. Mm -hmm. So with this, I'm giving a cool offer for all. We have a platinum offer, and then we have a, a basic offer for everybody. Mm. And this is email marketing. So this is what you get. And at the end of this program, we will share a link where you can yeah. click on and actually buy this product. Mm. But this service, but this is what you get. So you get um, an email marketing software. You will have your client's database stored. Mm -hmm. We are going to design your first lead magnets that will help you to, to, to get emails mm -hmm. um, open so that you keep adding onto your database. You are going to have um, send out your first email announcing what your business does and also bring your products and services readily to your target market mm -hmm. through this newsletter. You are going to have your first 10 or more emails mm -hmm. gathered. You will have your first 10 or more telephone numbers gathered. gathered, mm -hmm. And all this will be at one place stored that you... And what is sweet about having an email marketing software is that you have control over your target market. Yes. So, you know, Facebook yes. and social media is wonderful. But it's mass marketing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes Facebook goes down, social media goes down. But with email marketing, it's yours. Mm -hmm. It doesn't go down. You always have with you. You can send emails as much as you want. And it's, it's, it's the game changer. So mm -hmm. I'm offering this at a very cool price. Click on the link. Find all the information and contact me ASAP. And let's get rolling. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. This offer is exciting. And if you are listening to this and you know that you need mommy in your life, don't hesitate. Take it for me, someone who has spent sleepless nights trying to figure out my customer database and all these things. Oh my goodness. 
just get the help you need. Trust me, you are worth that investment. And knowing mommy, I don't even think this is like a thousand dollars or something. I'm sure you click on the link and you're like, oh, so is this what I was wondering about and overthinking it? You see how much you enjoy peace of mind. Peace is beautiful. <laughs> so thank you so much, mommy, for making time to talk to me today. I wish you the very best in your business and everything that you're doing. God is with you because you're doing his work and it's amazing. Thank you. And thank you so much, Amma. So viewers, I recommend Amma Duncan as a coach. Amma connected with connecting with Amma as a coach has changed my life positively. I'm growing in my business and I'm achieving more. So women in business get on board her mastermind and it will change your business towards the right direction. Thank you, Amma, for having me. And I am glad to always be back for us to talk. Oh, my pleasure. Well, how was this conversation? I, I, this woman, I've known her for maybe two or so years, and I always find out something beautiful, something new about her. I mean, that this story, for instance, about her mom and her family, her siblings, it's just so powerful. And hearing it has really made me appreciate her even more and why she does things the way she does. She's like so serious with her job. Of course, she's fun as well, but she really takes what she does seriously. And I can understand why. Of course, she's a gift and you are a gift too. And listen to me, if you're in business and you are you know, trying to create at the same time market and everything, and you know you need this help, reach out to mommy, okay? I have connected her to several coach um, colleagues and other entrepreneurs, and she's done amazing for them. And I know she can do for you as well. So please reach out to her, click on the link and take advantage of this offer. And before I end, let me just remind you that the International Fabulous Women's Conference is happening sooner than you think, 4th to 7th March, 2022, we are celebrating International Women's Day in style with a four-day conference at Fab Hub Ashanti. In the caption, you'll get the link to read more and buy your tickets ASAP. You can join all the days or choose any of the days that you like and let's celebrate together. Until I come your way again with the next episode of Mind Your Business. It's ta, toodles. My daughter says I shouldn't say toodles again, but hey, I will still keep saying that. <laughs>